so this is like a so for this is for this kind of camera for heavy cam uh, uh, it's not about the daily life or about entertainment or even about the student video it's about video for change your personality as a filmmaker is in the middle of your story and you should criticize uh, the your character or your environment and because the aim of this kind of video is change change of opinion change of your society and change of your uh, you know gender relation in your uh, context then if you bring some just uh, video without any without any ID challenging idea it's, it's it doesn't have any value Where there was an internet block blackout at some point, there's communication blackout, so mainstream media was not able to actually tell you what was going on apart from like a you know top shot of the news. The primary source of information on what was going on was in social media through activists, uh, like the average Egyptian person, as well as bloggers and, and you know activists who had been on the ground and active since 2005, but also the average protester who never had a political role and went into the street who had a mobile phone or just a small camera, was able to capture what was going on, to tweet what was going on, to put status updates on their Facebook and whatnot, which actually informed the world of what was going on in the Egyptian revolution. Uh, I currently work in social activism on the issue of sexual harassment in Egypt. Um, and just as it was really important to disseminate information during the revolution and until today, because we are an ongoing revolution, um, it is really important for us to be able to communicate with with everyone. For me personally, uh, even though there are other video bloggers and video journalists and activists who use different means to um, to create knowledge and disseminate it, I feel personally that it's important for me to be independent in that sense so that I'm able to create my own um, micro documentaries, uh, video blogs and whatnot to be able to tell the world about how we are actually changing things on the ground and why people should participate and volunteer with us and help us shift the perception amongst society and therefore improve the quality of lives of Egyptian women in Egypt. Um, I mean, a feminist pers perspective is important because it highlights issues that mainstream media and a non-feminist perspective, I don't want to say men because there are men that are feminists, that they simply won't highlight. You know, I mean you have different priorities and and with a feminist perspective it doesn't it generally doesn't matter which subject you're looking at, there's always a different way to look at it. And a feminist one gives it a more rounded look. Ramu Roberts, I'm from Libya, I'm twenty years old. I am uh, the vice president and creative director of an NGO called The Voice of the Indian Woman that focuses on political participation, economic empowerment, and gender-based violence. And I also am a radio show host on, um, that focuses on current events through a young woman's perspective. Um, I try to highlight things that relate to women and to youth. This leave is right now going through a lot of changes in terms of, I mean, in every aspect. Our society is changing, our cultural ideas ideals are starting to change. Our political scene is, you know, a complete flip of what it has been for decades. It's the perfect opportunity for women, especially after the revolution, which everybody recognizes they were the driving forces of. You know, they were the first ones to go out and march. Their importance as being the, the support is rec widely recognized, and nobody will say now that it's not the time for you to take part. You have always taken part.
seems like the most obvious thing to say, you know, just go train your observational skills, just look around, you know, and you take it for granted, but once you actually do and you really put, you know, put your mind to actually looking around and trying to absorb everything that the environment is giving you, then you start seeing things differently and you start kind of picking up things that are quite interesting and can really make it It was good for me because when we came back I had a lot of started ideas and I didn't really want to commit to any of them because none of them were made enough sense in my own head so it was good to, to pick a few of those and just blurt them out and let the group kind of have at them and then it came back to me with you know, this concrete idea I could work on and could develop into a story and into a film that I'll be working on for the rest of the week. So, if we show you footage, you remember, and your reaction is very normal, yeah. and you say your story very live with your emotion in your eyes, because we need that you, we see in your eyes the same things, not just as a reporter. In your eyes, we need real reaction, how you were sad, how you were excited, how you were scared in that time. You should remember all of these things, you know? So, if you go to Egypt, to Cairo, if you want to do the same things with your friend, you can go to exact place, maybe not picture. You, you can go to maybe Tahrir Square or any other street and say, oh, you remember that what happened here in, in for example, last year? And she, she said, ah, oh, I remember, yeah, we went here and then we had demonstration here and, and you know, this is a style for historical documentary and documentation of your revolution. It is important yeah. for Egyptian woman, for every woman. Good? Okay. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I hope it will be good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I tried. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want, want to push them, Afghan woman, Egyptian woman, or mm -hmm. Yemeni woman here to tell their story from their country because mm. documentary should come from inside out. Mm. But as a facilitator, I just encourage them for mm. that. You know? mm. Yeah, they don't know because, you know, why mm. I think that this is important? Because we had we had same experience yeah. okay, thank you. 30 years ago in the Iranian revolution. And they didn't think that it is important. Nobody cared about our story. We didn't know that we are between of the story, in, inside of the story. Mm. And 2009 also, when we were in, during of democracy movement in Iran, before, before uh, Arab uprising, mm. uh, in that time we knew as an older generation, mm. but we were very busy with daily life and pressure, political pressure, mm. and we didn't have time for documentation of that. And right now, this is my experience mm -hmm. to my sister from other side, other mm -hmm. country. I say, please, please, please document your story because if you if you want to just postpone it for future, your perspective can change. Actually, I know that Maybe revolution. Some, many people are yeah. interested about the revolution in uh, not uh, not in Egypt. It's on mm -hmm. the world like, because sure. I know Egypt is very important place yeah. in, yeah. in the yeah. Middle East. Yeah. And I will try to, to make it, uh, you know, not, not, not hysterical about me, not hysterical. I will talk about our, my feeling, my, uh, as a woman, as a young woman. Today, that just they found out 
that uh, what they are doing really. I think today today is very important day for them because they, they, they just understand today's video making is not just shooting. It should be many many things to do. Show the people that they are like us or maybe more uh, more intelligent than us. Yeah, yeah, this is a good. Uh, but also it's interesting enough to start with. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope I don't know. I should not be used to cross the line. So, in alone, in line, to alone, narration. This is your main line, your narration. You should write it, and then based on that, you set up your story. Supported by Mama Cash. Um, this certificate then is was presented to Maryam Akbari in recognition of the completion of the eight day workshop on citizenship video journalism, a capacity building training on video documentation for women from Afghanistan and the Middle East, held on December 8 to 15, 2012. At Vieng Thai Hotel, Bangkok, Thailand. Thank you very much for everything. Video. <laughs> 